Hello everyone, and we are going to make a simple obby system. So first of all, go into your home, go into your game settings. I didn't make a game yet, so I will just save this to Roblox by just obby uh, like this. That will normally open up your game again. Uh, so go again in home and settings, and then you'll see something like this, yeah? So go into your security and enable so your access to API services because, because we're going to use our data stores save so first of all as we load into the game you will see my name here we will gonna add a leader stat first so how we do that is we go into our server script service and we're gonna add a script related to a saving checkpoints yeah so let's make this so local checkpoints yeah we have no checkpoints yet so we're gonna make our checkpoints so inside of workspace add a folder that's related to checkpoints let's use the capital c so it is like looks more nicer and let's add a part inside of here yeah we'll see the part inside of here i'll make the material into neon and the color to red because we didn't reach that part yet i'll also make it square boom this is our checkpoint yeah let's rename this checkpoint to one i'm gonna duplicate this to two get it again this is a bit three four and five you can make how many checkpoints you want just name them like this like with a number uh, so now we got the checkpoints here so let's go into our script again and we're gonna do game.workspace.checkpoints yeah and local data store let's make this bigger so you can see this better it's game that point get service data store service and also get data oh wait so then you do get data checkpoints data yeah let's do that and so go down a bit here let's make our leader stat game dot players dot player added the point connect function player uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our local leader stat it goes instance dot new our folder ls dot name equals to leader stat uh make sure to name it like this exactly like this or else it won't work ls dot parent will be our player so now normally when we join the game you will see inside of players we will have a folder called leader stats which is good now we're going to add a int value which is what we'll call stage equals to instance dot new an int value because int is for numbers we're gonna stages are numbered by numbers and you equals one because you start at one stage dot name equals uh let's name this to stage and then stage dot parent will be now the leader stats so now when we join the game go inside of players we will also have now stages and it's set to one okay now of course we want to save this so let's say like it changes to two like you're at stage two you want if you rejoin you want that your player goes back to the correct place async yes sir get async player dot user id i don't think it is well local data equals data store oh, what's wrong here ignore this error for a second if data then if date dot stage then stage dot value is equal to data will be equal to data dot stage if player dot characters then player dot character dot pivot to checkpoints dot point find first child stage dot value dot c frame plus vector tree dot new zero comma three comma zero like this and go down here player dot characters added dot point connect function characters if checkpoints dot point find first child stage dot value then what we're going to do is character dot point dot point pivot to check Checkpoints dot point find first child stage dot value dot c frame plus vector tree dot new zero comma three comma zero yeah it's like this this is still not good but that's okay this will be gone in a second but then we're gonna go down here let's add a function save data we're gonna save data in our player i'll do more letters save data player will be wait we're gonna do trying uh, warn i mean not wait warn trying local leader stats equals player dot point find first child which name is to leader stats local stage equals to ls dot point find first child stage local data equals these brackets data dot stage equals stage dot value uh, then local success equals to equal function like this data store no point set async uh player dot 
user id comma data and okay and then if success then warn saved because we saved it else we're gonna warn it oh warn not saved yeah then what you're gonna do is we're gonna go down here i'm gonna do game dot players dot player removing the point connect function uh, connect sorry save data at like this game the point find to close uh function like this or i comma v do in pairs i mean game dot layers no point get children what we're gonna do then is save data v so we're gonna go each player okay that's that this is still red which i don't know why it is okay i think when we try to fix the script or like do further it will work so first of all we forgot some stuff so inside of uh, replicate storage let's add a remote event called touch checkpoint client yeah then inside of sound service we're gonna add a sound oh add a sound which is called checkpoint yeah now what i want you to do is i want you to go to our view toolbox go inside of here audio and let's search for checkpoint sounds i like this one so what i'm gonna do this i'm gonna write the copy as the id in here when sound id paste it in here i'm gonna make this 1.5 yeah which is louder you can close toolbox now okay and we're gonna also add a small ui here so you can see which stage you're on that frame is to stage ui let's add a frame uh, inside of stage ui i'm sorry and then this frame will be zero 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 and we're gonna do one comma zero comma zero point zero eight comma one like this yeah then the background transfer here set is to one so it's invisible oh i'm so sorry it's not a frame it's a text label so go down here again one comma zero comma zero comma zero eight comma one like this boom background transparency to one uh we're gonna change the text to stage one because you start at stage one. Text scaled. I'm gonna make this this thing bold. Sure, why not? And I'm gonna make the text color white. But then inside of here, I'm gonna add a UI stroke. Boom. Make this like thickness six. Yep, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, so next we're gonna add a local script inside of here. Boom gonna do is local checkpoints equals to in dot workspace the point wait for child checkpoints yeah and again local our player equals game dot players dot local player a local player check equals player the point wait for child leader stats the point wait for child stage uh, does not wait one second let's say and then we're gonna repeat something does not wait zero point zero one seconds you know what i mean until player check dot value is bigger than one then a script dot parent dot text equals you're gonna do stage space no point player check dot value and then we're gonna do player check dot changed the point connect function value a script dot parent dot text equals to stage space dot point value like this boom okay this will not work yet because we're gonna change something let's go into your server script service script again all the way up here let's make this in here four comma v in pairs checkpoints dot point get children do if v dot point is a base part what we're gonna do then e dot touched dot point connect function it's so we're gonna know what they touched if game dot players dot point Oh, it's to get players from characters it dot parent then what we're gonna do is local player equals game dot players no point get player from character it dot parent okay local checkpoint number point number to see which number we're on equals two uh, to number v dot name okay local player check equals player dot leader stats dot stage dot value if player check is bigger or smaller than a checkpoint number then what we're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot touch checkpoint client open fire clients player comma b also player dot leader stats dot stage dot value we're gonna to checkpoint number this is still red which is like weird oh i know why equal sign here i forgot this now it should normally be okay now when you start the game 
you will see you start as a stage one. If you go here, it will change to stage two. But if you leave and you can see it tried and it's saved and we go back, we're now on stage two. Well, this could be your checkpoint system already. You can click off. But if you want to have like a small animation and a sound playing each time you go on and like it changed from red to green, keep along, keep following along. So starter player, go into your starter player script, add a local script that seems to checkpoint client or checkpoint animation, I don't know. Boom, go in here. Local checkpoints equals game.workspace. Checkpoints. I would just do wait for child checkpoints like I had before. Local player equals game.players.local player. Local player check equals game.players.local player. That point wait for child leader stats. That point wait for child stage. Boom. Last dot wait uh, one second spawn function like this repeat uh, not return repeat a uh, task dot wait 0 0.1 second until player check dot value is bigger than one which we did in another script for i comma v in pairs checkpoints dot point get children do if v dot point this base part then if to number v dot name oh, this layer check dot value then e dot brick color will be brick color dot new and let's make this lime green each time you step on it so change this color to what color you want it to be when you step on it else v dot brick color equals brick color dot new really red yeah i'm gonna do this really red because that's what i chose when you don't when you're not, not, not on the checkpoint now if you want to make a small little satisfying animation each time you go on a, on a part when you're here you want to get this dot or dot touch part client dot on client event dot point connect function dot checkpoint let's make this this local new equals checkpoint checkpoint dot point clone oh like this game dot point get service tween service dot point create no comma tween info dot new let's make this 0 0.5 seconds for each animation comma we're gonna change the size equals to vector tree dot new six comma two comma six now what we're also gonna do is we're gonna change the transparency to one we're also gonna change the color to color tree dot new uh dot from rgb we're gonna make this slime to five comma zero oh double point play like this so to look something like this very big code then we're gonna go down here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do game no point get service we're gonna make a new animation between service no point create no uh checkpoint comma tween info dot new 0.5 seconds again comma as you're just gonna change the color equals color tree dot from rgb also lime no point play there we go now new dot parent equals game dot workspace new dot cast shadow equals to false new dot and collide equals to false my game dot sound service dot checkpoint double point play last dot wait one second new dot point destroy i spell it right right yeah so now when we join in, you will see we're in stage two and these two things are green and we step over one. Oh, wait, something here is wrong. Twins just created because instance is null. Yeah, I think I know what I did wrong. This has to be fire clients, not fire arc of all clients. And let me see if this now works. I'm here. No. Yeah, so it's fire clients, not fire clients. Wait, let me just make more checkpoints because i've been testing and you know they keep saving okay normally this should work i'm here boom you see there's a oh i did a big mistake they all have to be anchored here we're on this see there's a small animation small animation when i just stop the game it's trying saved we're on stage seven i think so when we start the game it should be back at stage seven we go over here small animation place you hear the sound we stop it's trying to save and it saved it and you're back and as you can see it saves so each time this changes here our leader stats and each time we leave it's gonna save it well that has been the tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one